What's up YouTube, it's your boy Junior, aka Semi, and welcome to Semi2 Tech, the channel that brings you everything from product reviews, tech reviews, app reviews, all the way to live streaming, and live gaming, and everything else in between. So if you like all that stuff plus more, then stay tuned to this channel. And before we get started with this great new video, if you haven't done so already, right here, the subscribe button right here, click on that, and once you click on that, you make sure you click right next to it, the little bell right here. Enable bell notifications so you get notified for every single video I come out with and or anything I come out else I come out with. As well as don't forget to like the video there and share it to your all your social media platforms. Are you guys looking for some great and awesome IPT service? And come and check out ExcelPremiumMedia.com. Look at this great, great looking website, all this stuff they have available. And look, they offer a free trial for 24 hours if you want to try them out. But they have plans starting as low as $12 a month. What more can you ask for? But wait, let's go ahead and check out the app itself. Look at this great looking app. They got live TVs, movies, and TV series for all your needs. And look at all these great channels available here, guys. Look at all these channels here, guys. What are you waiting for? Get your service today. All right, guys, thanks for coming back. I do appreciate all the love and support that you guys show the channel. Remember, when I continue supporting the channel, all you gotta do is like all my videos, share all my videos, comment on all my videos, and if you still haven't done so, hit the subscribe button and enable bell notification so you get notified every time I drop great videos like this one or when I go live. And trust me, guys, you never ever wanna miss a thing. All right, so today's video is gonna be a really quick how-to video. I know a lot of you have the Fire Sticks, Fire TV Cube, or the fire tv box if they still have them around <laughs> but a little problem that we've been having lately and now is even a bigger issue when we did the final update as you can see on my fire tv cube i have the latest update on there the biggest issue that a lot of people are having is when they're side loading apps onto the device and the app loads and works and works perfect nothing's wrong with it but the problem is, let me show you before we get started. I'm gonna shake myself down. The problem is when we're going to the apps, see all these apps are here, load up fine, the icons are working. But if I go to this app here, which is TV Mate, we get the gray box. And I do have a few of them that have the gray box. I have Flixoid. Um, and then I got one more over here that is down on Send Anywhere. So those apps are blank. Some people can deal with it. Like me, I can deal with it, not a problem because I just go over it and I see what it is. I can read on top, it says send anywhere. And if I go over here, flick soy and a TV mate, I know what to do, use them. But some people like to have the icons and that's a pain in the butt. Unfortunately, right now, I have no way of fixing that. I have found no other way. But what I'm gonna show you is an alternative of getting around that so you don't have to worry about it. So, the thing you're going to be installing on your device is going to be called the silo launcher silo launcher is going to be able to see every app you install on your device and it's very simple i'm going to show you what it looks like so if i go up here you see right here this is my silo launcher this icon right there is a little square with an arrow pointing to the right up corner and you click on it it's going to bring up all your apps installing device you see so remember the apps that I was telling you that weren't showing up on the main screen? Um, let's see, we have, let's take a look. Flixoid wasn't showing, but it shows here perfectly. Look at that. And then we got Send Anywhere, shows perfectly there. And the other one was a TV Mate one. Where is TV Mate? I don't have it. Oh yeah, it's right behind my head. But there you go, the icon's right there. It all works. So, um, this is the only solution. Well, it's not the only solution, it's other, launches that you can put on your device that will work just the same but i prefer using this one this one's been around for a long time i use this on my video shield and i use this on all my devices i love silo launcher so i'm going to show you how to get this installed so basically you're going to go to your home screen first thing you want to install before anything else you want to install downloader and downloader is this app right here you see it icon right here you can get this straight from the play store it could be on your android device or the amazon device but since we're working on amazon it's going to be on the amazon device so basically you're going to turn on your mic button right here downloader let it go ahead and recognize it let it bring it up and it's going to bring it right there you click on it and basically it's going to actually install it you install it and you're all set once you install it open it up and it'll bring it right here 
One to here, you're gonna go up to this little box right here, you're gonna, where it says enter URL and search terms. I'm gonna go ahead and enter this URL. I'm gonna put bit, B-I-T dot L-I, I mean L-Y, sorry. L-Y, and then I'm gonna go to forward slash, back to letters, and then I'm gonna put in semi, All lowercase, make sure it's all lowercase, semi, S-L-L. So that stands for so like, um, silo launcher. I made it very simple for you guys to be able to type it in if you don't have a keyboard. Just made it as short as possible for you guys to use. So that's the URL you're gonna be entering. You know, and once you enter that there, I'll leave it there for a second. I also leave a link down below so you can have it down listed in the description box so you don't have to worry about it. So basically when you go here, once you enter that, you go to go. And it's gonna it's gonna bring up this page. Don't worry about it. It's gonna automatically download it for you. See how it's downloaded for me? I find a website that you click on it. It's gonna let it download it. So I made it just a shortcut to it. And you see on top it says Silo Launcher. You're gonna go ahead and install it. We're gonna go over to install. Let it install. Boom. And that, it might yeah it install for me because sometimes when you have double apps of the same app installed, it won't let you install. But this time it let me do it like I guess it thought it was an update. So. Once you're done, you're done, and that's it. And then after you install it, it's going to come back here. You want to go ahead and delete that APK that's been downloaded to your device so you could free up the space so you don't have to use up the unnecessary space there. So you're going to delete it. Yep, confirm it, and that's it. You get out of here. And basically, you're going to go to your manage apps. So I'm going here on the first one. I like to keep this up here in the first one since I can have all my apps just load up real quick. So I go over here. Normally, this will be down here. Let's say it was down here. You're gonna hold the button, the action button, which is this one, and then you can move this anywhere you want. And I would normally move it up here like that, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it, put it back down, and put this back down here, and that's it. Once it's in this top row right here, this top row here is your main icons, your favorites, and this these all down here will be listed on the bottom of the home page. I'll show you where you see that. So when you put it in the top corner in your favorites, it'll be listed right there. So you can load it up right there when you want to use it. But like the other apps I was showing you are all going to be listed right here. Recently used ones. And that's it. going to be all listed right here. So now you don't have to worry about those icons being missing. You could just use this launcher and it doesn't change anything on your fire device. It's a separate launcher on the background. You open up the launcher from here and it'll load up all your APKs. Now, if you have a lot of APKs, it takes a while for it to load up. As you see, it takes a little bit to load up, but I feel this is the best launcher, in my opinion. Other people might think differently, but this is, for me, it's my favorite. All right, and that's it. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Hopefully, this tutorial and this how to fix the icons on your favorite devices when they're grayed out helps you out. If it did, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. Show me all the love and support that I get love to show the channel. Also, don't forget to hit the share button because sharing is caring. And we want to make sure everybody's aware of this great how-to tutorial. And we're going to show it to everybody. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comment box down below. I'll get to you as soon as I can, when I can, as fast as I can. And if you still haven't done so at the end of the video, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button and enable bell notification so you get notified every time I drop great videos like this one or when I go live. And trust me, guys, you never, ever want to miss a thing. Until next time, this is Junior, a.k.a. Semi, signing out from Semi to Tech. Peace.